acre lot in West Tennessee. We have 84 chickens with four roos in that bunch. We have four turkey hens and six ducks, four of which are Pekings and two runner ducks. My husband has built all of their kennels or their, their runs and their housing out of dog pens. Now we buy these dog pens used and um, some of them have been given to us over the years and we keep these pens in good condition. He has made a 30 by 30 pen for our chickens with a 30 by 10 coop inside and a 10 by 10 grow out pen and the rest of it is a yard for them to, to enjoy. Uh, the yard is not covered at this time but the pens are covered with tin. My husband built the roof and put the tin on and it keeps them nice and dry inside. Our pens are also wrapped with a clear tarp that we bought off of Amazon and I will put that link in our description box below. We have um, a 10 by 20 pen for our turkeys with a used uh, hen house that was given to us and they are about to outgrow the hen house so we're going to build them a nice coop and our ducks are in a 10 by 10 coop with a duck house inside and all of these animals have plenty of water that is uh, self-feeding water uh, that my husband has built plus they have water buckets around their coop and they get plenty of feed every morning um, we also wrap our coops with rabbit wire to reinforce the coops um, that has worked really well for us over the last 10 to 15 years and we have had no uh, instance of any predators getting inside other than a, an occasional snake um, and it's usually a chicken snake and all we have to do is tap on the box and the snake will move it doesn't bother us and we don't bother it uh, we live directly behind a state park and this is probably why we have so many uh, predator animals around. Um, we do have copperheads and other types of snakes that we have to watch for out in the yard. We have a garden area that we're going to fence off that is adjacent to our ducks and uh, that will be their play area during the day. We can't release them to free range like we do the chickens because of the animals that will prey on them. We did lose two and two of our ducks this winter to um, either a coyote or a hawk or something. We're not sure what happened. Uh, we do not raise our babies from eggs yet. We don't have an incubator. We are hoping to purchase an incubator sometime this year or next year. We have bought in the past our chickens, either from Kentucky and they're already laying, or we have raised them in brooders. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the eggs. Um, our ducks are laying eggs now. We usually get about two a day. Um, they are a little bit richer and bigger than a chicken egg. And to me, there's not much difference in the taste, but some people say that there's a strong difference in taste, so you need to try them to see if you like them or not. Um, what I use my duck eggs for is for baking mainly, and I will occasionally put a duck egg in with hen eggs and scramble them for us to consume. And for as far as turkey eggs are concerned, uh, turkey eggs are higher in cholesterol and they're not recommended for human consumption. Um, but I will take those and scramble them up and give it to the birds as a treat. Um, and they will get the extra protein that they need and the eggs will be used. Um, without a tom, we can't raise baby turkeys right now. and We're hoping that we can get us a tom turkey sometime in the future so we can raise the birds for consumption. We don't eat our hens, but that thought has crossed our mind that we may have to, and right now we do not raise meat birds, but we could certainly take some of our flock and separate them for meat and raise, raise our own meat. 
Um, we've done it in the past with rabbits. We've dispatched rabbits in the past. I'm sorry, my dog's barking wanting to come in. But I'm going to end this. We are at a new channel. I hope you are enjoying our content so far. Please comment below, like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you will see all our videos in the future. Thank you for coming, and y'all come back. Thank you.